Welcome to another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Adam Hansen, and today we're continuing our discussion on rooftop units. As firefighters, it's crucial that we know the dangers associated with these rooftop units. When it comes to electrical hazards, there can be as much as 240 to 480 volts of electricity flowing through these at any given time. When it comes to mechanical hazards, there's many moving parts where if you're not careful and don't shut down the power, you can easily take off a hand and it's happened before. When it comes to explosive hazards, we have natural gas feeding this unit and it can create a potentially explosive atmosphere and or a possible oxygen deficient atmosphere. After we've done our investigation and we've definitely decided that this RTU is out of service, we need to perform shutoff and lockout tag out on both the electrical and the gas lines coming in. So right now we're going to start with the electrical service shutoff. This is called an electrical service disconnect. Anthony put the lever from the on to the off position. He's going to reach for the hasp piece of his lockout tag out kit. Open up the hasp piece, put it through the hole, take a padlock, put it through one of the six holes, make sure it's in fact locked, and a, he put a tag out on here, which he would have to put his name, contact information, and a brief description of what's wrong with the unit. Moving on to the gas shutoff, most all RTUs when it comes to the heating element is going to utilize natural gas. When it comes to the actual valve, you're most always going to be presented with a quarter turn ball valve type lever. So when the lever is in line with the piping, that means the gas is on. When the lever is perpendicular to the piping, that means that the gas is shut off and you're good to go. So when we're locking out and tagging out these units, make sure that the lever is perpendicular to the piping. Take out your ball valve piece to your lockout tag out kit. Secure it over, pull out your second lock, put it through the hole, and lock it up. Now as you see, Anthony was smart. Instead of taking out another piece to secure this, all he simply did was take his uh, tag out portion and put it through the shackle. It's one less step, but with these, you're going to want to write on the tag out portion your name, your number, and what you think is wrong with the RTU. You don't want an HVAC technician showing up and saying, I don't know what's wrong with this, I don't know why they shut it down, and then turning it back on and you getting called back out at two o'clock in the morning. So make sure you fill out the tag out portion. Again, my name's Adam Hansen. And I'm Anthony Deco. And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.